Hey guys, Wesley from Great Shave Reviews, and today I'm going to show you the Omega uh, Shaving Cream. Uh, this stuff is a fairly soft soap. Uh, essentially, if you wanted to, you could pull it out of here and put it in something else. The lid doesn't, at least this lid doesn't really close. But overall, the shaving cream itself is pretty nice. The smell is it kind of has that mintha smell which is basically what I like to call Hall's cough drops <laughs> but it's a pretty good sh soap except for the second and third passes um, before you relather you notice that your skin is pretty sticky and you definitely do not want to go over an area twice with the razor with this stuff now you might be able to add um, pre-shave oil to um, like a bowl lather or your face or something like that and it may make a difference, but I haven't tried that yet. Get my brush pretty dry here. I'm going to start loading. Now I've used this soap a couple times, and each time I had the same results, which is the, the sticky after effect on my face. But after the, we get the bowl lather, I'll try and show you guys what I'm talking about using my hand. Now I've noticed with this soap that you do want to take a little extra time and get your brush extra loaded. And I like to start dry with it and then work my way up from there. It seems like you can really get a, a lather with way too many bubbles fairly easy with this stuff. It's just one of those soaps you gotta take your time with and be patient. I think we have enough on the brush there. It loaded fairly easy to be honest with you. Put a couple drops of water in my bowl. And then start the bowl lather. Now because we started dry, the bowl lather is going to start out dry as well. Real dry and sticky. So what we'll do is we'll take the brush, dump in a little, little bit of water. <coughs> Excuse me. And then go back to our bowl lather. Now personally, I think the soap would be very nice if... Um, the second and third passes were better if it left some type of protection on your skin. But that, I just, I can't get around that in itself because I'm one of the people that do go over an area more than once, more than twice. And I need some sort of protection on my skin. Add just a little bit more water. As you can see, the lather's just everywhere. I think I'll stop there. There's a large amount of soap. But what I'm talking about on the um, leaving your face dry and actually somewhat sticky is. do a quick lather what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that sit for a second not too long though kind of simulate you shaving basically because you start out shaving the first place on your skin, the last place is going to be somewhat dry underneath before you get there. And as you can see, the soap is very slippery. It's really enjoyable 
as you're shaving. But once you wash it off, and I'm not rubbing or anything, I'm just rinsing it off. And then your hand dries a little bit. You can hear it. Well, I hope you can hear it. It just leaves your skin very sticky and very dry. But actually, I want to try something, to be honest. What I'm going to try, I have some Sterling Soap Company. This is the Mintha Pre-Oil, which pretty much smells the same. What I'm going to do, and I've seen a few people do this before. I want to see if it will make a difference. I'm going to take a little bit of this. We'll say... do five drops. Now we're going to mix it into the shaving cream. You really want to start this at the beginning, but I want to see if this makes any bit of difference. And while the uh, mintha from the Sterling shaving soaps really uh, overpowered the uh, Omega smell. It's close to the same, but a little different. Personally, the um, mintha smells like mintha, and Omega just literally smells like Hall's cough drops. I'm going to add a little bit of water just because it's sat. Okay, we even have more than what we had prior, and I'm just going to assume that the oil is mixed up in it. If anyone's had any experience with this, um, please let me know. I've been thinking about trying it out, but I just I haven't yet. I don't really use pre-shave oils that much. Um, driest time of the year, you know, for me in Ohio, January, February, when you're walking around shocking everything from just moving, then I'll use pre shave oils. But being the summer, I don't really need to. Okay, I think we have a good small lather on there and now you can really smell the mintha from the um, sterling company um, still very slippery we'll go ahead and wash it off and see if that helps Something to note too, the, um, the pre-shave oil, I felt it on the back of my hand and it did kind of burn a little bit. Nope. <laughs> We're still getting it. But try it for yourself. Stuff's pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description on where you can get it. But um, if you guys have any suggestions on what we can do to get that second shave is what I'm calling it, the, uh, the, the don't shave or whatever. Um, if you have any suggestions on how to get this soap to leave that second coat to where you can go back over an area two or three times, please let me know and I'll, I'll make another video. But um, that's my lather review of the Omega Shaving Cream. Thank you very much. Remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button.